Hey, how's it going? And happy St. Patrick's Day. That was a terrible accent, but uh, it's all of a sudden turned Russian. Anyway, so, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my terrible accents. I am tired, and I, I can't do my accents very well right now. It's just, yeah, it, they were fine earlier in the day, but whatever. So, I'm probably going to, I'm going to start telling stories from my vacation, so why not? Um, so I had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> to get on my first plane, and that was, that was horrendous, like, oh, I was so tired, but I gotta sleep a little bit. Turns out, like, my seat was double booked, but I gotta get in first, and then, like, the two ladies who sat next to me, they were, like, in their fifties, and they weren't the smallest people in the world, let's put it that way, but apparently, like, their sister was supposed to be in my seat, but it had been double booked. And so I got it, because I was there first, and their sister was, like, all wandering around and all that stuff, and it was, yeah, it was weird. They were, like, teasing me the entire time, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I want to get off this plane. It was, like, the longest hour of any plane ride the entire time, and it was all tired, and on top of that, they had to de-ice the plane. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. But, yeah, it snowed right before I left, and so... They had to de-ice the plane, which took half an hour. It was depressing. Like they sprayed it with this really weird-looking green stuff. And then I got into Denver. I had a layover in Denver for three hours, and that was horrendous. It was just, it was not fun. However, I did find out, if you're ever in the Denver airport, on the signs, it says tornado shelter. I'm like, I've never seen a tornado shelter before, so i got to go check this out. And it turns out, I, I was looking at the signs on the thing because it has it printed on the signs. I couldn't find this thing to save my life. So I'm like, ah, whatever. And, like, the plane's leaving in, like, half an hour. Well, not leaving, but boarding in, like, half an hour. So I'm like, all right, I'll go to the bathroom. And as I'm walking into the bathroom in the Denver airport, I see this little, like, laminated sign on the door, like, doorway thing. And it says tornado shelter. And, like, this little picture of, like, a tornado. And I'm like, that is genius i mean that's pure genius i mean come on if you have to go to the bathroom during a tornado you're right there it's it's pure gold why don't more people think of this just if you're making a bathroom turn it into a tornado shelter just yeah and like, like you're not supposed to have windows in a tornado shelter so bathrooms like the perfect spot anyways so anyway it's my tornado shelter bathroom rant uh but yeah, I got on the plane, a uh, four-hour ride, and it was terrible. I'm a person that I can hardly sleep in, like, cars, planes, whatever. I got some sleep this trip, so that wasn't too bad. And then on the way home, it was, like, the same thing, but backwards, and I ended up with a four-and-a-half-hour layover because the plane got in early. And oh, my goodness, it was just... It wasn't fun. And, like, every time I'd, like, drift off to sleep because it was early in the morning when I came home, too, I'd be like adjust myself for like fall asleep for like five minutes and then I have to wake up and adjust myself again in the seat and ugh, it was just terrible but I'm kind of glad that's over I love flying oh my goodness like just looking down on the clouds and like it was so cool so cool like I got to see the sunrise while I was on a plane like clouds are just freaking amazing and oh my goodness it was it was something I'll tell you that so if you haven't flown like at sunrise do it it's freaking amazing um other than that, I think I'll just tell my plane stories right now, because I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, I'm yawning all over the place. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to sleep. Um, hope you have a happy St. Patty's. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day, people. Um, well, it's over now, actually. I hope you've had a good one. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, so have a great night. Um... Talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.